Greetings, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and apparently I haven't done any research in a while, so <laughs> we're going to start that. The first thing we do, um, all right, so we have purple science, not quite green yet. I would love to get this one. This gives us a little bit more leeway on making our Dyson Sphere. No, you didn't miss an episode, but this is what I'm thinking about working on today, is getting those Dyson Sphere bits up there. Um, so let's look at what we can do here. We really can't do anything more in the main research tree. We're kind of done until we have uh, a green science, which we don't have at the moment. Let's look at our upgrades and see if there's anything else that we are able to make do thing. Okay, we can get mecha move speed. Let's go and see these ones. Okay, we could get some of that. Research speed it isn't important right now to us. We don't really care. That's green. This is green. Yellow, hooray! <laughs> to a yellow. This is fine. Uh, this has green. This is, wow. We are getting, um, there's not a lot of purple without the green. So I think we may just have to kind of start the green here shortly. I'm kind of torn on this because I would really rather start the Dyson Sphere stuff. Um, but we can look into this green and see that we need these, um, we need lenses mass produced, which we don't have yet. Uh, and then we need those special chips. Are they called quantum chips? Yeah, they're quantum chips. Also, just to note, uh, the rockets do need quantum chips as well. So if we start producing green stuff, then we will have uh, also rocket components as well as for the green cubes. So to that end, let's go and get out of uh, God mode because I forgot to exit that on the last episode. So let me go and uh, grab these fractionators from here and start getting more deuterium because as you saw, we're going to need those deuteron fuel cells for the production of green science. And that's going to be kind of important. So I'm thinking um, we're going to do a little bit of factory rejigging today uh, because of the products that we can get shipped in. And that's going to be really nice. Let's see, this is holding, wow, it only holds 400 warpers. Let's expand that to like a thousand just because we have those wild ships that are taking masses to other places. So that's that's something I want to fix. Uh, now let's go and do this fractionator thing and just make several, maybe several large fractionator runs with stuff here. This spot might be a nice one as well to get um, some of this stuff made. I could move these guys because I don't think that these are necessary at all. And at the moment, we don't actually need them because we have more than enough with the Deuteron fuel cells. So I'm just going to wholesale delete them. <laughs> that might be a very bad idea. I don't know. But I think we have enough power to, to work this out. So if I do that, we have there. And we can get that done. Okay, so that is one, one part of this. Let's see if we can build, we can actually build this one longer if we move stuff a tiny bit. So let's just get this out. Wow, okay. Okay, so let's, um, okay, we are just, yeah, inventory full, things are being deleted. Life is worse. I, I get you. I understand you thing. Okay, we're going to delete those before it deletes any more belts. I didn't think about it actually deleting the belts, but yeah, that's a concern. So just add a few more of these guys uh, along the way. And that will extend our first setup, which is really nice. And then we'll get it into the second setup. Nope. For some reason, it wants to connect to the bottom one, weirdly enough. Let me delete that belt. It's making things difficult. There we go. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. There we are. And I don't know how many is the optimal amount, but I do know that the, um, the throughput was extremely good even uh, with the number we had. So this is extending it a 
almost doubling it, not quite. So that should work quite nicely. Let's get, we'll just get the regular belts here. And of course, moving our camera is good too, so that we can, wait, did I put them? <clears throat> Nobody noticed a thing. Nobody noticed anything, nothing, I promise. There was nothing to see there. <laughs> That was so stupid. If you missed what I did, I forgot to put, I put them backward basically. I didn't put the output on the inside, which was what we wanted. So that was a tiny, tiny mistake there. But it's fine. We'll, we'll recover, I'm quite sure. Someday. We'll recover someday, sometime. Alright, get rid of that and... They do make it quite easy to connect these though, which is nice. Okay, so there's our loop and let's get the belt coming out. Excuse me. Hello. There we go. I think I need to move this camera and be very specific about where I'm moving my pointer because even if I'm just slightly, it just like snaps to a certain part of the machines. Okay, so there we go. We have stuff happening. Now then, I think what we need to do is, we need to set up, do we want it all coming from one tower? Actually, it's not coming from one tower, is it? What I can do though, I think what I wanna do is actually make a tank here and have the tank kind of, oh, that's nice, uh, cargo stacking which basically is sorters, how many uh, stuffs the sorters can transmit or transfer, I should say, not transmit. Transmit is definitely the wrong word. Okay, let's see. This is good and this is good. Yeah, I'm thinking a tank here would be good. Let's see, storage, tank, yay. And I want to get this running ASAP. Okay, so we'll have this going out here. And then we'll have the next one going up. Okay, so that's going through. Let's see what the throughput is on the bottom side, or if this is way too many. Well, this might be way too many. Look at this. I think we need to shorten this somewhat. Let's see. Oh no, it's it's starting to build up. It is definitely starting to build up. Okay, so this is a fine amount of these things. So we'll go ahead and make the next uh, set here. I think this will be a slightly uneven, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and here we need to have our belt coming down this line there. All right, and then the next set will be nice. I didn't expect that to be on the edge of the ocean like that. It's cool though, you like you can imagine these people working at the fractionator facility, just checking all the hydrogen that comes through and then they're like uh, looking out the window at this beautiful like turquoise waters. Oh, so nice. It must be really great having a job at this facility. That's all I can say to that. I think I'm providing quality of life for my workers here. I mean, presuming they're not all robots. Um, but even robots may have a life and they may be excited about stuff. So, you know, who's to say? There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Looking good. And this is going to give us so much more deuterium. And we're going to definitely need it for the green stuff. So we are actually working on science today, which is kind of neat. I like that. We're definitely doing what we need to do. Oop. Uh, oops. I lost the, lost the train there. Alas. Nope. Nope. Behave. Okay, there we are. Nice. 
Okay, so this is going to come straight out of this guy there. All right, so this is filling up and this is has quite a lot from of course our lovely gas giant orbiting. Let's see there maybe. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Let's see, we're at 98% power, so we're doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, now, I guess with this thing, we can do a tiny bit of belting happiness here. Gonna raise this up. There we go. And then go down. Kind of like to have it on the ground if possible, like not in the water. Uh, even though I guess it can go over the water, who cares? But yeah, it's nicer, I think. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. You needed me back. Yay. Okay, so now it looks like we are... Okay, we got vertical construction. Hooray, that's great. Um, all right. Now we have these guys getting made. There's much more deuterium coming in. Oh, that's great. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Let's see, this is still filling up, 4,000 right now. I think we can put one more setup over here. I think that would be pretty good. One thing that I'm a bit kind of like, tiny bit disappointed with is that you need so much space uh, for the power poles. And the reason for that is, I'm not sure. I think the hitboxes are too big. I think that's what's going on here. I really wish that you could put power poles in uh, between them? Like here? Like why can't you put one there? Um, I'm kind of mystified by that, but maybe it will get changed in the future. Unless it's something like, you know, danger zone, we need to really, you know, be, uh, cautious about letting anybody near the deuterium. I don't know. So I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But let's see, let's make these guys this side here. Hooray. But I guess uh, unless it's a desire to have more space between the buildings, that could be a thing too. I don't know. Hello, wait. There we go. I'm really glad I took everything from the box make making these things that's uh that was good thinking because i was like ah eh, you know we have like two stacks of 20 that's a lot no it's not it's never a lot we have learned this we know the truth here it's never never a lot never too many basically wait are these oh wait we don't set a recipe on these oh and it looks like we're actually running out of power so we might have to add the fuel rod thing again, which ironically is, um, yeah, why we're, why we're making power or why we're making more deuterium. I can't imagine having enough like particle colliders to produce this much deuterium. That would be, uh, what do they call it? Prohibitive. Prohibitive is a really good word for that. <laughs> a really good word for this. Okay, let's see. Let's try to maximize our power pull coverage on these guys. That works there and over here. Nice. Okay. Very, very good. All right. And I think we'll just do the same kind of thing over here and take it down and across. Hooray. All right. And now we need to get some hydrogen coming in here because that is one thing we are lacking. I think with this, this is not using a full belt at all. So I'm just going to split it here. And three, okay, that's more than three. It's just fine. Stick this there. And then I was gonna do it right from the tank, but I don't think we need to. I think we can just split it here simply. And that's gonna be good enough. Okay, great. It's working. It's all working. This isn't a, a bigger, bigger thingy. Yeah, bigger construction. And it's, we're still not storing enough. This is so funny. We've gone from how many tanks? Six to zero in no time. Just literally no time. So um, it looks like, yeah, we have been running low on this stuff. 
uh, on the fuel cells. So hopefully we can get that sorted. Do we have enough space for more hydrogen? Maybe. Can I chuck that in there? There we go. I did. I checked it in. And then deuterium, I think I'll place that right on the belt. So if we go E for our menu here, and then we'll chuck the deuterium on the belt there. Just click, and, or well, click hold is what I did. And it goes back into the tanks because there's no reason to waste that stuff. All right. Now then, um, I want to look at some of the things that we can streamline. And one of those is this here. We are basically getting many components for graphene, which we can make easily from fire ice. And I think the only place that uses the graphene is up here in the mall. Well, not the mall, actually. It is the solar sails. So we look at, ah, graphene is used here. Okay. So we might have to reverse this belt to come back there. But yeah, graphene uh, goes this way. And I think we are, yeah, we're using it right here for solar sails. So what we can do is get a tower here to import the graphene. I don't think we have space in any of the big towers. This is interesting. Do we have, ah, oh, we don't, we don't have warpers in this tower. Okay. That's never going to get us any silicon then if we don't have warpers. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and fix that real quick. It's one, two, three, and hopefully we can fit in a nice, very handy dandy sorter here. Whoops. There. Can we make that work? Hello? Yes, we can. Good. All right. And then this guy is going to come out level one or yeah, level one, I guess is a good way to call it. There we go. Warper's going there. Happy days. Uh, all right. So that one's full. Uh, we can't do anything there, but we can maybe make one here possibly or over here. We could do it here and then just kind of go through that system and grab what are we grabbing exactly? We need to grab fire ice, which is going to be made into graphene because we're not actually, I don't think we have a graphene factory that is mailing out orders <laughs> or should we check? I don't remember. Gosh, this is getting difficult to remember. Actually, let's, let's go and see, um, on our, our planet Rustabon one, let's go over there and check because I kind of like halfway remember we set up extra stuff, but I don't remember if we're shipping it out or not. And obviously we can look at the production menus, but I really don't know what's happening to it because we're producing it, but is it, yeah, we could, I guess we could look at the consumption as well, but if both are zero, then who, who knows what's going on there? We have no idea. Okay. So I know where this is being made. Let's see, is it here? Is this graphene land? It is graphene land. Hello, graphene land. Oh, this is being made into this. Ah, which we don't even need anymore. Right. So let's see, we are making those carbon nanotubes on the other planet out of um, these spiniform stalagmites. Yeah. So this whole thing is not necessary. Wow. Are those, where are those going? Let's see. So those thingies are going into this tower. Are the others, let's just land and we can look from planet mode and see. Okay. So I think they are going into, whoopsies. No, no, no. Back, back, back. Oh, oh, change tower location because I want to navigate it better. It's all in the dark as well, which is not ideal. Okay, let's see. This tower gets nanotubes and it's requesting them. I think I should do remote demand on these and stop requesting them from here because we don't actually need them here at all because we are getting them from the other planet. Okay, we're going to do remote demand on those. Man, there is so much to like rejig after you figure stuff out. So I think 
Hmm. And it also feels bad to like, hmm, should I tear this stuff up? Or am I going to need it later? You know, am I going to need it later? I don't know. I don't know if I am. Are they, these guys draining? Yeah, there's a tiny bit of drain here. That's not, it's not too bad though. It's not too bad. But what I'm thinking is if these guys are not needing the graphene, right? We have graphene. This graphene, it's from fire ice. It can go into a tower. Because why not? I mean, there's no reason why not. Uh, so I think I'm going to put it in a tower. All right, let's uh, put down a tower here for that. I don't think I'm going to tear it up. I might cut the supply, though. That might be a good idea. I might just stop these. I, I can't really. The only way... Well, I guess I can, technically. I can stop the this thing and not tear everything up just by discontinuing the belt, which is just a simple X there. And they're going to remain stopped. And we can get the uh, carbon nanotubes from the other planet where we're making them. I forget where exactly it is, but I know we are because we've set that up. So let's take this up and over and set this in here. And this is going to be our solution for graphene stuff. Ink what? Huh? No, 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 no. Please. Do not, Nai. <laughs> Forget it. Stop it. Angle not too wide. I promise it's fine. Okay, graphene coming in here. And we're going to be a big supply for this, I think. Because why not? I mean, use it all. It, there, we have a ton of machines making this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and power... Should I? Yeah, I'll power the tower. I shall power this tower and see if anybody demands stuff from it. Okay, so that's our graphene issue. Solved. Basically solved. Let's go back to our home planet and see where we are. There we go. Oh, oh, gravity. Stop it, gravity. Stop it. We don't need your laws of motion here. Go away. We don't believe in you. No. We just want to lift off. There we go. Ah, oh, this is nice. Whoopsies. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh boy, this is not a happy time. Okay, hi. Dude, like planet, hello. <laughs> this is not okay, man. Look, I'm trying to escape your gravity. I'm not interested in visiting you now. Like, behave. Stop throwing a tantrum and catching me. No, no. <laughs> like I've been caught. Ugh. And it looks like our research is stopped and I need to find out why that is. That's a bit scary. Oh wow, our planet is looking very populated. Okay, let's land with the science. That seems like a good idea considering we want to check that out. Check it out. All right, it seems like we have plenty of everything except purple. What's going on? Hello. Particle broadband is not being delivered. I wonder what that's made. <clears throat> it's fine, though. It's fine. Nobody will care. We'll just fly there again. <laughs> Pretend nobody's knows. You know what? We need to figure out this. <laughs> this issue here of, um, yeah, we're, we'll, we're fine. We're just going to add another tower. It's going to be great. Hello, tower. Hello. There we go. Uh, and this one is going to be just directly importing. Can I put this here anywhere? Yes, I can, actually. I can put it right there. This is a terrible place to place this, but it's fine. It will be fine. So let's see. We're going to cut this line for that. We're going to import graphene. There is no reason to have those other... Um, the other plants making graphene anymore. Zero reason. So we're going to just do this this way. So we can delete those things. Let's see. This can be deleted as well somewhat. I would really like to reverse this belt, actually. Go ahead and just grip the graphene in there. 
and we have something using this graphene as well here. I'm just gonna replace the belt. Ah, this thing is using graphene. Huh, fun. Okay, so we have a couple of things using graphene here. I think I'm gonna just take that off. Okay. How far does this go? So this goes underneath. I'm gonna just delete that there and then take this off like that. We'll just take it one step at a time across this way. I really would love to have a way to like reverse belts. That would be so nice. Like just reverse a segment or something. Okay, I'm gonna leave that because it raises the height there quite nicely. Okay, bots, fix it, fix it, do the things. Okay, and it looks like the whole thing is sorted from there, so that's great. Um, all right, so, and we were gonna disconnect, yeah, this graphene belt, all of that needs to go. So bye-bye graphene belt, sorry, we had a great time. It's been a nice party. Life has been okay and better and stuff and things. It's all been good. Yeah, all right, bye-bye graphene, bye-bye. All right, and now we can just like recycle all of this stuff. Wow, we have so much. Err. Um, okay, I'm gonna put that in there for now and then we can recycle it maybe later. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. We don't need any of this anymore. Um, yeah, carbon as well. All that stuff's gotta go. Got to go. Let's take that one off. We can put more graphene in here. We can delete the sulfuric- oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here, let's get that back and delete the sulfuric acid. And that's fine because we can import that from another place as well. Now these, I'm going to go ahead and delete this box and the thing. Uh, because what we can do is that is needed for some buildings. So, yeah. Get that. All right. And sulfuric acid. This is such a, a bad place to make this. Uh, we have zero right now. What I'm going to do is just completely disconnect these lines here. We don't need any of these anymore. Any of the water things. Nothing. Just all this can go. Completely can go. What is this? This is stone. We also don't need that going on. Inventory full again. I'm going to just go ahead and delete this. Delete the water. We don't need this. Yes. Oil. Go. Whoopsies. What else do we have here? We have too many of these, but I don't want to delete it. Wow, we have many, many uh, belts. I think I'm going to go and go to the belt boxes and just kind of put those in. I hope we have... Yeah, I really need to redesign this mall to leave a space for belt recycling. Because I... Like this one, you can recycle sorters, but you can't do the belts. And that's like, no, why? Why did I do that that way? It was not a good plan. Let's see. This is Mark II. So we can put the Mark II in here. These are Mark III. I wish they would also change the colors. They're really difficult to see. Um, I can't imagine being colorblind playing this game. It would be very, very rough, I think. Um, all right, so let's see. Yeah, we can't recycle any more of those. I guess the best option is just put a box here and then just fill it manually at the moment. Or, alternatively, can I? No. Ah, uh, there's not enough space, I think, there. Is there space for a belt here? Yes? No? No. Maybe. Maybe. No? No. Not quite. Not quite enough space, I think. Um, no, definitely not. I would need to redesign things here. But, oh, there is one thing I can do. There is a thing. Oh, this is good. This is great. This is good. Life is okay here. Look at this. Look what I did. This is sneaky. All right, all the Mark IIs go in here, and they will be fed that way as well. 
Nice. That's great. Here, we can give the Mark 1s. And now we have a tiny bit of inventory space, which is not much, admittedly. Not much at all. But we could delete a few other things, like the diamonds. Sure, these guys can go. Spiny form still lag mites. Yeah. All right, all those things. And get rid of that. All right, let's go back on our, like, crusade to destroy the world. Now, these things, I think they're done. Let's just delete these. We don't need them. Uh, just kind of clean things up a bit for the things that are not... We just don't need them. They are just done. Okay, this is iron coming in. And we also have to remember to... To do some other things as well. Okay, let's see. Do we want to care about this oil? Let's see. I wish it wouldn't, like, do that because I want to see the number. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. If we move it up a tiny bit, we can see 50. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. It's clogging. Oh, no. Oh, it's still going down, though. That's good. Yeah, there we are. Come on. We have a tiny bit left. Oh, but it doesn't actually matter because now we have too much oil or well quote unquote too much all right um we have this tower here i'm wondering if i should change it to be an interstellar tower it's going to be a heck of a pain to organize this really uh 2450 titanium in storage that's a lot of titanium i mean that's a lot of titanium let's see do we have any boxes we have one of these boxes like that let's see can i transfer this stuff here oh yes i can well that's easy never mind uh, yeah, here, we'll chuck it in here. We don't even have to put it in our inventory. That's quite handy. Um, all right, so we're going to delete this tower and we're going to build a new one. The interstellar tower, which can get the sulfuric acid from the world. Because that's where it's coming from. It is coming from the world. Okay, we'll put that one right there. And then we're going to get, okay, we're having this as storage yes okay and then titanium we're going to request max of i don't remember how much it was was it a thousand or something and yeah let's make this a max of like five thousand i don't think we need more than that and then should we request warpers is it too far yeah let's request warpers that's fine because we are going to need them because the other Production, obviously, is several or a star system away at the very least. Where is the warper? Hello? Warper? There you are. Hi. Okay, we're going to request 100, which is the minimum. Okay. And let's go ahead and put in some drones. Put in like five or several. No. I don't know. Ten? Sure. Have ten. And then ships will have like five. I don't think we need more than that. All right. And that's going to get us stuff. Um, before we change the demand on that, I want to grab these and put them back in the tower. Okay. So we were, we had 616 in storage. And then these, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Is it control right click? No. Control all the click. Yeah. Control right click. So these go here. All right, very nice. Uh, and this is going to be, let's see. Uh, this is um, titanium. I think local demand, because I think we're bringing them in via the other tower, I believe, right? I think so. Okay, now we get the distribution going. And this is wanting to be a pain in the socks, apparently. So that one goes there. We'll put this one in here. And then we need our middle one. And that's going to be our sulfuric acid coming through. Uh, which is going to be, we'll put it in slot number three. Sure. I love this sulfuric acid on a belt, but it works. Go for it. So this is going to be remote demand. Okay. And then get, I don't know, several. 4,000. That sounds reasonable. Go ahead. All right. And then do this this way. I hope we have enough stuff for 
supplying all of this. I'm a bit concerned we don't have warpers yet, but we'll find out why soon enough. Okay, so this is all done. Wow, gone. This stuff is gone. That's a bit... It's kind of a bit sad, actually. I don't know. Feels sad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Are we going to get any warpers? That's kind of important. Um, hello? <laughs> warpers? Let's find out. Oh, wait, did we... Ah, that's right. Local demand. That's what we need. There we go. Now they're coming in. Okay, so we're soon to get those things coming in. This is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, all right. So that is where we are right now. Now, um, the next science and the next stuff, let's look into these quantum chips because I think that's where we have some of the issue. And here is a naughty, naughty thing. The Casimir crystal. Why do I keep spelling it with a K? I have no idea. But um, because we have the organic grading crystal, uh, I think that's the second recipe here. This makes things so nice. And I think, let's check real quick our production and find out where we have that stuff uh, coming in. Do we have it here? Let's do total. Okay, nothing there. Why does it have foundation? Oh, foundation consumed because I placed it down. Interesting, okay. Uh, all right, Eta Aquile. Here it is. There it is. Total made 620. Really? That much? Huh. Something is wrong with that number. But hopefully that means we have it made at least. Because if we can get that stuff going, um, it's going to make us so much easier. So Things so much easier with the, um, you know, not having to have these guys, which are organic crystals plus the titanium. And, um, oh, one more thing that we can fix while we're here is doo -doo 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 -doo. these things. These things can all go away. All these things, all the refining and stuff can go away. What we do here is just import. Oh, wait, is this local? Hello? Why are you a local tower? Hello? That's so weird. Okay. Um, we're going to change things. And by the way, I do know that this coal miner is unpowered, but we don't need it. So I don't really care. Um, it's been unpowered forever. And let's see. We need to stop. Okay. So we're demanding 2,000. So let me just chuck that in this box. We're going to X this. And we're going to build a different tower. We're going to build a big one here. Okay, titanium, and it's going to be local demand. Well, well, let's get the stuff out of the box first, shall we? Oh, whoopsies. I should have done control right click. There we go. And we're, we want to have 2,000. So local demand. And then we're also going to request optical rating crystal. Or no, uh, uh, organic crystals, sorry. Let's get 2,000 of those. Remote demand. And we want to get warpers here. Hello, hello. Where are they, warpers? I had them there. There they are. Nice. We're going to order a, a hundred local demand. Okay, so those are already coming in. And now we need to get our ships going. Let's have, I don't know, sure, eight ships there. And then five, maybe? I don't know. Maybe 10 is better. Let's put 10 in there. And I need to go and pick up some more ships, I think. Oh, look at this. This is exciting. Oh, my God. All right. So let's see. Titanium came in the first one. Oh, my gosh. The electricity is going haywire because it is trying to charge up these towers. But now, now, my friends, this is the fun bit. Okay. This is, hello? No. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to use the wrong belt. No. Okay. 
Let's use the right belt because we have like a thousand of them. So this one goes there and there. Beautiful. Now then, these guys go away. We don't need them ever again. So we can X all of these guys. Uh, because we're not going to be making this anymore. Well, are we? Hold on. We might be, actually. Mm. I'm thinking, like, what if we run out of organic crystal? Mm. Okay, the solution to this is to just turn off um, the petroleum. Turn it off completely. And this stuff is putting hydrogen over there. Yeah, I think this is the best thing to do. Wait, do we need plastic for this as well? No. Really? No. Organic crystal needs plastic. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can cut it off really at the source there. So that's right here. What I might do is I might extend this here and then just cut it here. So that at least we can build up a tiny supply if we want it. But otherwise, we're not going to need these machines anymore. So this is coming in. I'm really excited about that. That's fun. That's fun. So then we're going to be able to get these guys going. Now I'm going to check on purple science now. Hopefully that all comes in. Should be working. This is still lacking particle broadband. Why? Why is it so? Go ahead and just delete these. Uh, and delete this. Rocks we don't need. Why? Hmm. Okay, so the particle broadband is made on Rastavon 1. We need to figure this out because this is a bit scary. Like, really scary. Where's the sun? Hello? Hello, sun. How you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Gravity, help. Rastaban 1, where are you? You might be up behind the sun where I can't see you. Ah, oh, there it is, yes. Right behind the sun. Gosh, these rings look so pretty. They really do. This is nice, really nice. Okay, sun, don't don't eat me. Please don't don't get me in your gravitational hug. Oh, I'm not in the mood for hugging at the moment. I need to get to Rastaban 1. Quick, quick. Find out the problem. What is happening? Okay, let's find out where this particle broadband is made. It's not there. No. This is lacking stuff. Alright, alright. What's going on here? Here's the broadband. What is going on here? We're missing plastic. Okay. Why are we missing plastic? Let's find out. This thing is remotely demanding plastic. Did I just shut off our plastic supply? No, I don't think so. Plastic is coming from our other planet because this planet has no oil. So we have to go back. Back to Rastaban 3. Is getting I should take like start up a ferry or something here because this is getting to be quite the adventure so something is wrong with plastic however it's definitely not a problem with towers because you know obviously we um, we have had purple science before so it's clearly something that is on our planet here. I remember we changed the oil refinery setup last time, and I wonder if it has to do with that at all. Not sure, but we'll find out. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> we didn't die though, it's great. We didn't die. Okay, here are our shooters. Where is the plastic stuff? I think is it here? Let's find out. No. Yes, no. No, 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 that's not where it is. Let's see. Let's find, is it that way? Might be this way. Okay, yeah, there it is. This is where it is. I remembered it's sort of on the south side. So what is happening here? What's going on? Game, hello. Okay, hello. You are missing graphene. Okay. 
So what's the issue? You guys are missing... Oh. There's something... Oh, you know what I did? Oh, I did the bad thing. No, I didn't do a bad thing. Hold on. It's okay. Um... Okay, so these are the regular ones. They are producing not graphene. These guys are producing graphene. But this thing is doing hydrogen up and it's going back into there, okay. And this, I think we're having a problem with jamming, possibly. Uh, it looks like we have too much petroleum here and not enough graphene getting through. Uh, let's see. Let me just take some off the line here and see if that helps. No, no, no. It actually is here that we have the problem, isn't it? Take the hydrogen off. That way the graphene can get through. Okay, so those are making graphene. And this thing... Okay, now we're pushing this through. I think we might need a tank here. I think we definitely need a tank here. These might also be a tiny bit too close. So we can, I think we're going to do some spaghetti here, like major spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have spaghetti happening. Okay, so let's put this over here. Let's get, um, gee, all right. So this is having, right, okay. I'm wondering if we have too much petroleum or if the issue is more like, is I mean, is it an issue of ratio where we have too much petroleum and therefore need to get rid of it? Or is it an issue of something else? Okay, so that goes that way. So there's petroleum coming in. It looks like... Okay, the hydrogen is getting burned. This doesn't seem to be going at all. Yeah, this is just stacking up. So I'm wondering if this is just too full here. This is hydrogen only, right? So if we get rid of this here thing, does this one split hydrogen out? No. This needs to go that way, I think, because that one splits hydrogen out. But this one, I think we can go up. Oh, the spaghetti is happening now. It feels good, though. It feels really good. The spaghetti is so tasty. It's so nice. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for the digression. The food conversation has come here. Okay, there we go. So that one takes care of that. Maybe I should have just waited and it would have cleared. I don't know. Okay, so now we are getting the graphene. How much is in here? 1190. Oh, look at this. I found buttons. Input on, output on. Oh, you can change them. Oh, that's nice. Hey, that seems great. Cool. Okay, so what I'm looking for is... Are these things processing properly or are we getting way too much graphene? I mean, not enough graphene and way too much petroleum. Because the thing is that these guys need petroleum to function. But if we're blocked, let's see. These guys will output graphene. We shouldn't get blocked anymore because of this beautiful, lovely 3D spaghetti happening over there. I think this should be working. Okay, if this stops, then we might get a lack of hydrogen, but it doesn't matter because these will have enough hydrogen anyway to keep producing the graphene. Yeah, okay, so this is working now. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's great. And now we're having supplies, hopefully in transit, 600 leaving the station. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, so in the middle of this beautiful spaghetti, I think we will finish up this episode and say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>